Is it true that you once tried to sell your sister to acquire tickets to the 2012 Champions League for London in Munich? <laughs> I thought about it, Pete, but decided it wasn't worth it. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a Q&A with this one, the oh. Rohim. Um, I hope you're all having a wonderful Christmas. Had a wonderful Christmas. Will have a wonderful Christmas. I haven't decided when I'm putting this video up. Uh, like what time yet so one of those will apply to you and whenever you watch the video it will also apply to you anyway yes so <laughs> we asked for questions on twitter and we got, actually got more than we thought we'd get yeah, we so did, we're just gonna answer the ones that are proper questions liam <laughs> yeah. yours will not be answered <laughs> oh can you hear that yeah you can't hear it, there's like random people screaming outside. No. In Christmas spirit and all that. <laughs> no. <laughs> this one made me laugh from Ian Cuddy. Have you ever badly injured? Accidentally, Ches or vice versa. Accidentally In injured me? Accidentally injured. I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. We're not very violent people. No. Love and not a fighter. Ish. And if we argued we would scream at each other rather than like lash out. <laughs> Yeah, you've never swung at me, and I'd never swing at a girl. No. Let alone me. Ah! That actually hurt! <laughs> at Wasprem. Sorry if I pronounced any of these wrong. <laughs> Wasprem, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. If you swapped channels for a day, who would do better and why? I actually think I would do better. No, you would. Because it's, I think it's, I find it quite entertaining to watch people that can't play games. Oh, that would be quite The funny. last video we did shows how I would not be any good at a beauty channel. Yeah. My attempt at her makeup was atrocious. <laughs> I'll link the video down below. When we did that like a year ago? No. It was in this house. It was, it was in probably this house. about six or eight months yeah, ago. Yeah, six or eight months ago. Not very good at <laughs> makeup at all. No, so it's quite she'd probably do better. It's more your facial expressions that made me laugh through <laughs> that one. From at Kizzlekick7, don't know who that is. Some random bloke yeah, on the internet, I think. Weird. I think he's ginger, I'm not sure. I have a word. <laughs> he's not the only one. Oh, yeah, I've got some. It's because you've got a hat on. <laughs> 24 years on the planet and you forgot I was it. If you could buy each other any animal to keep as a pet, what would you buy each other and why? With a winky face. An animal? Mm -hmm. For you it's simple. It's yeah. either a miniature dachshund, as a dog, or a penguin. A penguina! Actually, I, I bought her a penguin. I've already done it. I win. You've already done it. You did buy me that penguin! <laughs> me! Does it have a name? Paddles! Paddles the penguin! I've already bought her a penguin. <laughs> I've already won that question. Wait. One nil, game over. Has it See got later. pink eyes? Yeah, yeah it's got pink, Bright pink eyes. eyes. I win. What I animal would you buy me? I'd probably buy you. I don't know if I have a favourite animal. No, I don't think you do have a favourite animal. But I'd probably buy you um, a red King Charles Spaniel, like Ruby. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, because you're obsessed with Ruby. Yeah. My, my auntie's got a dog that is a red King Charles Spaniel and yeah. she loves me, so she loves I love her. So she's my favourite. <laughs> yeah, and I just want a dash hound. Or a French Bulldog. That'd be... Oh, a French Bulldog. Yeah, see? I keep moving! <laughs> I wonder if the camera picks it up. Is it legal to strangle children in the street? <laughs> we live in a great <laughs> From Goody Master, uh, what are your usual Xmas traditions? Stockings at the end of the bed? Yeah, stockings at the end of the bed. We, we, we don't really have any as adults now. Not anymore, not really. As kids there were quite a few traditions. Yeah. Like, weren't allowed to open any presents until you'd eaten your breakfast. And got dressed. And were fully dressed yeah. and ready to go out or whatever. The living room was out of bounds until you yeah. were like... Living room door was shut and this was mid-90s. Yeah. Living room door was shut, mum was in the living room with the camcorder that was literally yeah, was an like... on the shoulder <laughs> camcorder with a VHS in it, was literally like this big by about that wide, we on the solar camcorder, and then we'd get called in okay, and then you can come film you opening your presents. <laughs> that, was the, that was the Christmas tradition yeah. when we were kids. I think it was massive, it weighed a ton Yeah, as well. it was huge. We should try and find some of those, see if we can change them from tape to yeah, TV or something cool. and we can put them up. Yeah, that'd be okay. funny. Lol. <laughs> and I had white blonde hair and you were really ginger. Oh, like your hair's it's got darker, darker now. Got older, yeah. And so is yours. 
Yeah, my she was like has... white blonde. Yeah, I had when white she was blonde hair when I was little. And a round face. I still have a round face. You have a round face. I've got chubby cheeks. Um, I think we have. I've got chubby cheeks. We have gnome cheeks. Like granddad. Yeah, rosy, rosy, rosy gnome cheeks. That, I found that really hard to say. Rosy, 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 <laughs> rosy, gnome rosy, cheeks. rosy, rosy, round cheeks. Neil Killing Twenty. Uh, what do you like most about your sister? And what does she like most about you? What do you like most about me? Nothing really. So rude. Um, <laughs> I don't know. The fact that we've always always gotten on, I guess. Yeah, we have. It's a good thing. Yeah. But we've always been close. Yeah. That's what I like best. She's easy to get on with. Well, I try. And approachable. Pro I'm a nice person. Yeah. <laughs> Socially awkward, like, <laughs> yeah. No, we're both socially awkward. That's probably the worst thing. <laughs> what do I like most about you? Yeah, that you're determined when you get your head set to do something like YouTube. You did it. Mm. You see, well, I don't know whether that's determined or I'm just stubborn. <laughs> I'm gonna do it, don't care. I'm, I'm gonna do okay. it. Okay, you're stubborn with the right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> see that? I'm a proud sister. Oh. Matthew Orley, 11. Did you say that? Matthew Orley? Yeah. Matthew O'Royal. Oh, that's it, there you go. <laughs> um, if you two could go back in time, where would it be? What would you. What to. again. <laughs> if you two could go back in time, where would it be? What to see and why? Back in time? Yeah. Does it have to be in our lifetime or we could just go back anywhere? Because if we could go back I anywhere. Guess back anywhere. Just back in time in general. Either dinosaurs, just for to be like, oh no, there's a dinosaur shit, it's gonna eat me back to the future. Or <laughs> or uh World Cup final 1966. Is that when we won? Yeah. See, I know some things about football. Um I'd really want to meet Audrey Hepburn. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Have you still got the Audrey Hepburn thing I got you? A print, and that was Audrey Hepburn. Yeah, I do still have it. Is it in the bed? Somewhere? Possibly. I have an ottoman, so the bed lifts up. Literally, my whole life is under this bed. Mm. But it looks tidy, so I think. Azeek Khalid says, What is the most annoying thing that I've ever done? The most annoying thing you've ever yeah. done? What pisses you off the most? Nothing now. What, are you, what used to annoy you the most about me? You used to hog the computer in the living room. We used to have to have when we were younger. We had a living room in the, mm. in the li we had a living room. We had a living room in the living room. I know it's a shock development, <laughs> but there was a living room in the living room. We had a computer in the living room um, when it's all like parent protection and everything like that. And he used to hog it. And I always wanted to play Sims. And I could. What were you even playing on it? I don't know, probably Football Manager. Actually, it probably was. Or I was just on MSN, chatting to random people. Oh, do you remember MSN? MSN was cool. Oh. I remember Back was in MSN, the days. Habbo Hotel. <gasps> yes! Um, the, the penguin thing was after me. Penguin thing? There's a, yeah, it's like Habbo Hotel, but everybody's penguins. Why have I not heard of this? It was That was after me. I'd already. Well, I was obviously before me and didn't um, succeed because I don't know what it is. <laughs> there were random chat rooms that you could play pool in whilst talking to people. Really? Yeah. This was a long, but this is like 15 years ago because I'm old. I used to play Sims and that game called Babies with the Z where you had to look after your baby. And I really wanted um, dogs, and it was exactly the same concept but with dogs, clearly. But I never got it. Time for the child. Here. Yeah, I know, right? Tiniest violin in the world. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird thought. <laughs> Next question. Okay. I need to name this penguin actually. Is it not got a name? No, it's from Joe and John. Um, and it's not got a name. Well, you could you could call it Wally because it's red and white stripes. Wally the penguin. Wally the penguin. And then give it a brolly, so it's Wally with a brolly. <laughs> Wally with a brolly. Okay. <laughs> you're singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. Oh, I wish I had a cocktail umbrella. 
don't know why I looked over there. <laughs> we both did. It's just like, oh, we we'll should have <laughs> Devlin Mark says, would you rather have no arms or no legs? Seems to be a typical sort of question that Q&As <laughs> always seem to get, the random sort of, would you like to fight a duck-sized horse or a horse-sized duck? Would you rather have no arms or no legs? No arms, because you can do the things you can do with your hands with your feet. So I could still do my makeup with my feet. Put my scar on with my foot. Yeah. Well, no, because you haven't got your arm to hold your foot to your face. Why not? <sighs> <laughs> You're not bendy enough. You'd have to maybe lose your legs. Yeah, well, that would it. Or I could hold like a really long pole that's got a claw in it. So I could do that. Selfie stick. Yeah! Well, yeah! That's my built in selfie stick. Display. I'd probably have no legs. Well, really? Yeah. I don't you shoes can get... too much. But you can still have prosthetic legs, presumably. Oh, yeah, and they I don't need so. to be as nimble and fidgety and flexible as arms. They just kind of do walking and stuff. I've changed my mind. I'd rather not have legs. <laughs> there you go. No legs for either of us. <laughs> and Jack asked, would you rather have the brain of Sherlock but the body of a shrimp or the body of a builder and an acorn for a brain? Well, when you're smart, no one really cares what you look like. So... Body of a shrimp and brain of Sherlock. Yeah. Or body of a builder and acorn for a brain. No, because then you're just a stereotype, aren't you, if you're dumb blonde? Yeah. I'd probably have brain of Sherlock and body of a shrimp as well. Yeah. Do you get extra limbs? Like, shrimps have like six legs. <laughs> do the whole <laughs> thing that they do with the legs. So you don't get eaten by what? No. It's like that one from, um, oh, what's the film? Happy Feet 2! There's shrimp in that film. Is there? Yeah. Do they sing? Everything sings in a Happy Feet, doesn't it? Or dances? They're hilarious. I don't know if they sing, but they're like the comedy duo of Happy Feet 2. Well, there you go. We'd, we'd both be the comedy duo of, out of Happy Feet 2, but really smart. Smart shrimps. Yeah. There you go. We're smart shrimps. And on that note, thanks for your questions. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you have a lovely, lovely Christmas. Yeah. And we will, well, I will see you in the next video. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>